Are you in need of inspiration? If so, I'm an abstract artist and I'm here to help you get your creative juices flowing and get back to creating amazing art. Hi, my name is Rowena Turner and I'm an abstract artist, creative consultant and entrepreneur. And I'm on a mission to help artists all around the world find their inner voice unmute their creativity and start creating art they're passionate about. In this tutorial today, I will be walking you through a drawing exercise that I often use to inspire inspiration and get creating when I don't feel like it or I'm lacking inspiration. The first thing you want to do is draw squares on the space on the page. I drew a rectangle at the bottom, but as you'll see later in the tutorial, I'll actually erase that, that rectangle and make it a square just like the rest. So at the end, I'll have six squares on the page. You can draw rectangles or you can draw squares, whichever one fits best for you. And this will give you the opportunity to fill in the space with ideas and other creative things that you want to do in the future. At this point, I really wanted to get some more ideas flowing, so I whipped out my iPad to help me get through the process. This is my main method for content creation. However, you can use this to do project planning as well. At this point, if you're finished filling in all of the squares, you can use the blank space on the sides to write additional notes and other references for you to refer back to later. The particular pieces that I did in this exercise, I used them for a creative arts workshop that I have been working on for affirmation art. And so these ideas were used and will be used in upcoming workshops as the painting theme. Along with references, I also have a timer going to see how long this takes me and also limit myself with coming up with ideas a little bit because I will sit and work on this for hours and hours and won't necessarily get anything else done. So having that timer to pace yourself and set a time limit will give you the opportunity to get all the work you need done as well as work on other ventures that you need to get done as well. And the main thing is to pace yourself and get the ideas flowing because when we're often facing lack of inspiration or artist block or we haven't been creating as much, it's not so much about not having ideas or having too many ideas. It's just about allowing yourself to be expressive with the time that you do have and with the space that you are creating in. So just allow yourself to process all of your ideas and get them onto paper or a sketchbook of some form because this will jumpstart your process to success when it comes to generating more ideas and overcoming any obstacles that you're facing on your creative journey. At this point, I had also switched to using a pen because I'm working on getting out of the habit of erasing ideas when I write them in pencil. So now I'm using a pen to solidify the idea and make it more permanent for me. So if I don't like anything, I can just adjust it because oftentimes I find that when I erase ideas, I come back to them wanting to do something similar to the original piece and if I don't have that idea in front of me anymore because I erased it I won't be able to refer back to it so being able to draw and pen gives me that <laughs> that concrete sense of oh this idea is not going anywhere and it creates more of a permanent space for the idea to continue on and just bring more inspiration to my life.
It's also a homage back to my beginnings because when I first started creating, I didn't use pencils as much. I used pen and it was a great way to get ideas out because I was so obsessed with pen drawings and ballpoint pen art. So this feeds back into my humble beginnings. If this was helpful, be sure to use it for later or save it for later so you can come back and refer to this for a refresher anytime you need it. Also, if you would like to join any of the Discover Abstract Art workshops, feel free to visit the information in my description box below. Or if you're catching this video on Instagram, check it out in my link tree in the bio. So thank you, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll let the video finish playing out. I thank you, I bless you, and I love you and happy creating. Thank you.